clean Daniel chapter 11, 1 to 21. Also in the first year of Darius the Mede, I, even I stood up to confirm and strengthen him. And now I will tell you the truth. Behold, three more kings will arise in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than them all. By his strength, through his riches, he shall stir up all against the realm of Greece. Then a mighty king shall arise, who shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. And when he has arisen, his kingdom shall be broken up and divided toward the four winds of heaven, but not among his posterity, nor according to his dominion with which he ruled. For his kingdom shall be uprooted even for others besides these. Also the king of the south shall become strong, as well as one of his princes, and he shall gain power over him and have dominion. His dominion shall be a great dominion. And at the end of some years they shall join forces, for the daughter of the king of the south shall go to the king of the north to make an agreement. But she shall not retain the power of her authority, and neither he nor his authority shall stand. But she shall be given up with those who brought her, and with him who begot her, and with him who strengthened her in those times. But from a branch of her roots one shall arise in his place, who shall come with an army, enter the fortress of the king of the north, and deal with them and prevail. And he shall also carry their gods captive to Egypt with their princes and their precious articles of silver and gold. And he shall continue more years than the king of the north. Also the king of the north shall come to the kingdom of the king of the south, but shall return to his own land. However, his sons shall stir up strife and assemble a multitude of great forces. And one shall certainly come and overwhelm and pass through. Then he shall return to his fortress and stir up strife. And the king of the south shall be moved with rage, and go out and fight with him, with the king of the north, who shall muster a great multitude. But the multitude shall be given into the hand of his enemy. When he has taken away the multitude, his heart will be lifted up, and he will cast down tens of thousands, but he will not prevail. For the king of the north will return and muster a multitude greater than the former, and shall certainly come at the end of some years with a great army and much equipment. Now in those times many shall rise up against the king of the south. Also violent men of your people shall exalt themselves in fulfillment of the vision, but they shall fall. So the king of the north shall come and build a siege mound and take a fortified city, and the forces of the south shall not withstand him. Even his choice troops shall have no strength to resist. But he who comes against him shall do according to his own will, and no one shall stand against him. He shall stand in the glorious land with destruction in his power. He shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom and upright ones with him. Thus shall he do. And he shall give him the daughter of women to destroy it, but she shall not stand with him or be for him. After this he shall turn his face to the coastlands and shall take many. But a ruler shall bring the reproach against them to an end, and with the reproach removed he shall turn back on him. Then he shall turn his face toward the fortress of his own land, but he shall stumble and fall and not be found. That shall arise in his place one who imposes taxes on the glorious kingdom, but within a few days he shall be destroyed, but not in anger or in battle. And in his place shall arise a wild person, to whom they will not give the honor of royalty, but he shall come in peaceably and seize the kingdom by intrigue. Amen. Amen. So last week we saw Daniel chapter 10. So 10, cha 10, chapter 10, 11 and 12, it is the same vision. It's a one vision God showed him through the angel. So he was, as we know last week, you know, he was in prayer for 21 days asking God, uh, what, what is uh, happening in Israel? So he's praying and pleading God. So after <laughs> 21 days, the angel, he appeared to Daniel and uh, the angel spoke uh, in Daniel chapter 10, 21. I will tell you what is noted in the scripture of truth. You know, the angel is reading the book, the, the scripture of the truth. So just it's a reading. So the book is in, in the hand of God. So the angel is reading the book and the timeline for Daniel. Make him to understand what God has for his kingdom. And also what are the kingdom they are going to come in this world. So 
Ja, chapter 1 he start, uh, chapter 11, the 1 verse, uh, the angel said to Daniel, <coughs> also in the first year of Darius the, 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 the need, I even I stood up to confirm and strengthen him. So this is happening. So now this now the chapter 10 is started in the third year of King um, Darius. So his third year. Now the, and the angel said, you know the first year of the king. So I, I, I strengthen the king. Strengthen the king. You know, uh, we know uh, uh, King Cyrus, uh, he was the emperor. Uh, he conquered the land of <coughs> the Babylon. He came over ba Babylon and he conquered. And he put his nephew, you know, it's a nephew, he put his nephew uh, Darius as the king for the Babylonian kingdom. So Cyrus was the emperor for the Medo-Persian kingdom. Uh, 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 Darius was the king for the Babylonian, that, in that territory. So through uh, Cyrus, uh, Darius, he there announced the... Um, uh, freedom for the Israelites. Let them go back and build that land. So here angel <coughs> said, you know, I helped uh, Darius to strengthen him. Probably when the king uh, Darius and King Cyrus and the King Cyrus, when they make a decision to make the Israelites to go back and build the uh, temple, Probably God strengthen him spiritually. You know, when, when the king take the power, they won't allow some, some big nation to go for freedom. So, but through the power of God, through God, Bible said, the angels strengthen, strengthen um, to take the decision to, to let the Israelites go back and build the kingdom of God. So, the angel, God strengthen. So, strengthen the king and he will let them go. So now they are building the, the temple in Jerusalem. So after two years, the temple was stopped. So here uh, the angel said, and uh, the second verse he said, and now I will tell you the truth. So he came down and Daniel ex expecting the result, you know, when the rebuild will start. It's a stopped now. When are they are going to rebuild? And when the dedication of the temple? That is the question and that is his prayer. But he, the angel said, now I tell you the truth. And he said, behold, three more kings will <coughs> arise in Persia. So King Cyrus, during, he, he, he was the, uh, he is the emperor uh, when the angel when he spoke to Daniel so after three more kings after Cyrus what is his name come by sea and uh, another king he came probably on a year um, then uh, uh, Darius one he came power third and the fourth one what is Xerxes 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 the fourth one so the fourth one, uh, uh, the angel said, the fourth, uh, three more king will arise in Persia and the fourth shall be far richer than all. So he is the richest man. All, you know, all these kings, they, they stored the treasures. So he got a rich money, uh, Xerxes. So he was so wealthy. And uh, you know because of the wealth, so he moved to, uh, his, uh, he shall stir up all against the realm of Greece. So because of his wealth, he want to uh, get hold of Greece. So he went to Greece and he fought with them, the Greece. So the Greece, they lost their battle. So they went, uh, you know, they ran away from the Medo-Persian king. So, but the Greece, they want to take an avenge. One day we want to destroy the kingdom of the uh, Medo-Persian kingdom. So, when the 
when they defeated by the king of Xerxes, so they used to raise up their kids. We want to conquer the Medo-Persian kingdom. So because of the, you know, they are the several kings after, uh, you know, Xerxes, several kings, they came. But the Greek, Greek people, <coughs> they put the heart. One day we want to take avenge. So they used to, the, all the generation, several generations passed by. So one day, King Alexander came. He, king Alexander, he came. When his parents, when he was a king, when their parents, he was growing. So they, they told Alexander, we want to conquer the Medo-Persian kingdom. Because they defeated and they, they took our uh, territory. So we want to conquer <coughs> <clears throat> so, when Alexander was young, around 20, you know, he, he wanted to conquer the whole world, whole world. So, he came against Medo-Persian kingdom. Uh, when the, when uh, Darius III was in the reign, so Alexander came against Darius and he defeated Darius and he took over uh, the uh, took over his kingdom and you know the prophecy was exactly fulfilled amazing you know this is the prophecy before the, the, the before around 200 years before these kings come in power so but then the, uh, the angel is reading from the scripture from the note from the scripture how God is amazing. Hallelujah. If you read Psalm 139, 15 and 16, please. Psalm 139, 15 and 16. Yeah. Uh, my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest places of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they were all they all were written. The in days your book all is written, everything, you know, before we form. Bible says everything is written in your book. In your book, yeah, please. Um, the, the days were fashioned for me, mm. when as yet there were none none of them. Yeah. So before we born, you know, before when God laid the foundation of the air, God knows us. So one day we will come in the particular day, we will be here, we will marry this person, we will, we will have this, chi this many child, what are the mission we want to accomplish. So everything in the uh, book of the scripture of the truth. So here everything is written, here the angel is reading. So please read Psalm 87, 5 and 6 please. And of Zion it will be said, this one and that one were born in her. Mm. And the Most High himself shall establish her. The Lord will record when he registers the peoples, this one was born there. Amen. So God will record everything. Everything. How our God, how was amazing God. You know, he is almighty God. Though he is almighty, he is a mighty God. He cares for you and me. He knows everything. He records everything. He records everything. He keeps everything on the book of the scripture of the truth. So here the angel is reading the book for Daniel. So these kings will come. So the Medo Persian king, you, you see, they will be destroyed one day by the mighty king of the Greek. So he will conquer the land. So you know, so when when God tell about the third king you know after the third he said uh, behold three more kings so it means the third king Darius one he is the one help uh, the rebuild the Jerusalem so after the temple was stopped by the uh, the um, what group of people I forgot the name Tobia uh, Tobia and all the people they stopped so King uh, Darius, he is the one again, make the people to rebuild Jerusalem. And then 
you know, the Zeus is, he is the <coughs> one, he, uh, you know, Atras, uh, you know, he is the one married Esther. You know, we can read in Esther. So all the kings, everything is recorded. So now uh, King Alexander, he came, he took the po uh, power. And, uh, you know, the ambition of Alexander to conquer the whole earth. So, in, in we saw, you know, chapter, you know, we saw the, uh, Alexander for a few chapters. Chapter 8 we saw, chapter 7 we saw. So, here again Alexander. So, when Alexander, he was died, in the verse 4 it said, when he has arisen, <coughs> his kingdom shall be broken up and divided towards the four winds of the heaven. So, um, the, when Alexander died, the kingdom was divided into four kingdoms. Four kingdom. So, so Cassander, he took, he took the uh, uh, Macedonia and <coughs> Lamiscus, uh, he took, what is this, um, Thrace and Ptolemy, he took uh, the south, Egypt and Seleucus, one of the, you know, Seleucus, he was the prince, he was worked, when Alexander Great was there, the Seleucus, he was under Ptolemy, but when Alexander, he died, so Seleucus, he was a very mighty man, he was an army, so he also <coughs> got a portion, so he got, Seleucus, he got a um, big portion of the Syria and the north. So the, so the prophecy was exactly fulfilled after Alexander and the kingdom was divided into four, <coughs> not for his children, but it um, according to his dominion. Query. We and divided the four mm. winds of heaven, but mm. not among his prostrating, mm. nor according to his dominion mm. with which he ruled. For his kingdom shall be uprooted, mm. even for others <coughs> beside these. Mm. Also the so now the four division. Now, you know, the chapter 11 is dealing the north and the south kings. So, the battle is going between north and south. Why? Because, you know, in the north and south, we can see here that Jerusalem is here. So the whole scripture, scripture is focusing now Jerusalem. What would have, what is going to happen in Jerusalem during the time of the Greece? So when the South King, when they are, when they get more power, they conquer the Jerusalem, and they will defeat the North. When the North get uh, power, they defeat the South. Uh, south king and they took, o took power in the Jerusalem. So Jerusalem is the key uh, city, uh, key state in when these Greek period. So whoever holding Jerusalem probably in those days may thought they, they have uh, very good strength or they have the, uh, their kingdom was fulfilled. That's why you know always both the south and north, Ptolemy and Seleucus, they you know, all their generation, they fought each other. So, you know, all the rest of the prophecy, just we are dealing with uh, these two kingdoms, south and north. So now, uh, verse 5 said, also the king of the south shall become stronger. And now the south become stronger, as well as one of his prince, and he shall gain power over him and dominion. So he was the uh, Seleucus, uh, he worked under uh, Ptolemy. Now he took power over him. So he he conquered the land. So that exactly the prophecy was fulfilled. Fulfilled. Then now his dominion shall be uh, a great dominion. Verse 6, at the end of some years shall join force for the daughter of the kings of uh, king of the south shall go to the king of north to make an agreement. So here, you know, after Ptolemy won, his uh, his son he took power, uh, Ptolemy two, and after Seleucus, 
um, uh, uh, Antiochus to Theos. Theos means God. You know, all the kings, eh, they want to be God. So uh, Antiochus, Antiochus to Theos, he is the third king for the Seleucus uh, uh, territory. Third king. So now he was more power. So what the Ptolemy, he planned, he want to marry, he want to give marriage to uh, his daughter. His daughter name is Bernice. 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 He uh, told me uh, give her daughter to marry Antiochus II. So Antiochus II, he was already married one um, lady called Ladosia. He already married. Because Ptolemy uh, too, he forced uh, Antiochus to give his daughter. So what uh, Antiochus too, he did, he, he, uh, he removed uh, Ladosia from the queen and he took uh, the daughter of Ptolemy, uh, Ber Bernice. 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 So, so now they have a treaty. So the Ptolemy, Ptolemy thought his daughter uh, Bernice will help him to conquer the Egypt. See how the, the kings are evil. Say, you know, to want to give her daughter and to get power uh, to the kingdom. So, but, you know, uh, his daughter, Ptolemy daughter, she couldn't do much. In, uh, along with in the Antiochus. She can't do anything. So after um, a few years, Ptolemy too, he was died. He was died. So what the evil man, the Antiochus too, he did, he, he removed his uh, uh, wife, Barnes, from the queenship. And uh, he took again Ladosia in the he, uh, he, uh, he brought Ladosia in the power. So Ladosia, she want to take avenge the king Antiochus too. Because, uh, you know, you all her history. So, uh, so she, what she, th she did, she put poison, tell me too. And, Antiochus. oh sorry, Antiochus. Uh, uh, Antiochus and he was died. And uh, Ladosia, he killed Bar uh, Barnes also, and she has one of the one son. So uh, she killed um, both uh, Barnes and his son. And Ladosia, he got a uh, you know young 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 child. His name is Salukas II, and put him on the throne. So you know the prophecy, the angel read. Probably 250 years ago, it was exactly fulfilled. You know, all the things. So how the prophecy is so accurate. So we thank God. He is almighty. He, he take control. You know, every, each and look and corner for the individual people and the kingdom of Israel. So now, you know, because um, after his death, uh, Ptolemy II, his son, he took power, uh, Ptolemy III. So he want to take avenge uh, because uh, Ladosia, she killed his uh, sister and her son. So Ptolemy III, he came against... Um, Against or the king, Seleucus II, right? Yeah, Seleucus II. And uh, so, uh, so that's why, you know, the verse said, a yeah, branch of her roots, one shall arise in his place. So that is Ptolemy III. So he is arise. And he came and he fought with um, Seleucus II. And he uh, took power and he shall carry their gods and captive to Egypt. Oh, they took every all the plunder and he took them and he also got dominion over Israel.
because he was so power so uh, and also you know verse verse 8 could you read and he shall also carry their gods mm. captive to Egypt mm. with their princes and their precious articles of silver and gold mm. and he shall continue more years than the king of the north so you know how the prophecy how, how the prophecy is so equivalent <laughs> Bible said so the told me that this king will live more years than the Seleucus, the Seleucus too. So it is exactly happened. The Ptolemy 3 lived 6 years more than Seleucus 2. So the prophecy, you know how the prophecy is so accurate. So whatever the things in God's hand, it is happening. It is happening today. So it is exactly happened. So number, uh, in the verse 9, verse 9 please. Also the king of the north shall come to the kingdom of the king of the south. But so the kingdom of north, it's a Syria, come against Egypt. the south, Egypt. King of the <coughs> south, but shall return to his own land. Mm -hmm. However, his son shall stir up strife and assemble a multitude of great forces. And one shall certainly come and overwhelm and pass through. Then he shall return to his fortress and stir up strife. Yeah. So after Seleucus uh, 2, he has two children, two sons, uh, Seleucus uh, 3 and Antiochus 3. So when Seleucus, after his death, his elder son, Seleucus 3, he took power. But for a short time, um, he was succeeded by his brother. But after some time, his brother... Antiochus 3, he took uh, back the holy land from the dominion of Ptolemy. So he took over. So the focus is, chapter 11 is mainly the focus is on the holy, uh, holy land or the Israel. Now, uh, verse 11, could you read 11? And the, the king of the south shall be moved with rage and go out and fight with him with the king of the north who shall master a great multitude but the multitude shall be given into the hand of his enemy. Mm. So here uh, the Ptolemy 3 after Ptolemy 3 Ptolemy 4 so he want to uh, get back the holy land holy land so he fought with Antiochus 3. He was uh, Antiochus 3 as a huge army. The south shall be moved with rain and go out of fight with, with the king of north. Who shall who shall master a, master great, a multitude. great multitude? So he has he took a great <coughs> multitude of army to conquer uh, Israel. So uh, Ptolemy 4 was for defeated Antiochus. Antiochus. So the angel, whatever the angel prophesies is exactly fulfilled. So number now the verse 12. When he has taken away the multitude, his heart will be lifted up mm. and he will cast down tens of thousands, but he will not prevail. Mm. For the king of the north will return mm. and master a multitude greater than the former <coughs> and shall certainly come at the end of some years <coughs> with a great army and much equipment. Yeah, right. So he was lifted, you know, because he he fought, to, uh, he conquered the land of uh, Israel. Uh, Ptolemy, he, uh, Ptolemy 4, he was, his heart was lifted up. He was proud. So again, God raised uh, the Antiochus 3 after some years. He came against Ptolemy 4 and he defeated Ptolemy 4 and he took power over, dominion over the, uh, the glorious land. So during the time, during when the second time, when Antiochus 3, uh, when he go against with Ptolemy 4, so the Israel, the people of Israel, they also joined with Antiochus 3. So you can read in 14. Now in, in those times many shall arise up against the king of south. So 
after uh, the Ptolemy IV, he <coughs> got power over Israel. He uh, he ruled Israel with a very um, uh, you know uh, it's an uh, unpleasant way. He put lot of um, taxes and make the people to go for um, uh, work hard and made their life harder. So all this, when Antiochus III, when he came against Ptolemy IV, so the Israelites, some of the Israelites, they joined with Antiochus III, thinking that he will help, the Antiochus III will help, the Israel will go for freedom. But when he came power, uh, so the prophecy 30, 14 was exactly fulfilled. Fulfilled. Then uh, verse 15, so the king of the north shall come and build a siege mound and take a fortified city hmm. and the forces of the south shall not withstand him. Even his choice troops shall have no strength to resist. But he who comes against him shall do according to his own will, and no one shall stand against him. He shall stand in the glorious land with destruction in his power. <coughs> he shall also set his face to enter with the strength of his whole kingdom, and upright ones with him. Thus shall he do. And he shall give him the daughter of women to destroy it, but she shall not stand with him or be for him. After this, he shall turn his face to the coastal lands and shall take many, but a ruler shall bring the reproach against them to an end, and with the reproach removed, he shall return back on him. Ah. So here, then, now the king of north, Antiochus, he took power, uh, Israel. So now, uh, Ptolemy 5, you know, his son, Ptolemy 4, uh, uh, Antiochus III, he defeated, in the end, Ptolemy IV and took power, Israel. Now, after his death, Ptolemy IV, his son took power, Ptolemy V of Egypt. And now, he is racing against the uh, northern kingdom, uh, Antiochus. So, what the Antiochus III he did, he, he gave uh, his daughter, Cleopatra, Cleopatra to marry with Ptolemy V. So in the thinking that he can uh, get hold of uh, the uh, Egypt. You know, always the marriage, probably the mind of the people is always evil. So he wanted to get power in the <coughs> Egypt. So, but when he married uh, the Antiochus III, he married, uh, oh sorry, Ptolemy IV, Ptolemy V, he married Cleopatra. Cleopatra is um, sided to his wife. She she's supported his wife, not his fa father. Husband. Uh, so, uh, his husband, her husband, not his father. But, uh, so Ptolemy IV was very angry about her daughter uh, because she helped her husband. So now he was very angry and he, uh, he attention towards the area of Asia Minor and Greece. He is going against the Greek, uh, Greece. But in, in those days, the Romans, they are racing up in the history. So the Re Romans racing up. The Roman general what is his name? Lucicus. So he defeated Antiochus in Greece. He defeated. So uh, Romans, they support the uh, Greek. Uh, you know, who's the king for Greek? Cassandra. Uh, so he, he supported the the Roman general, and he defeated him. So, with a sad heart, he came, uh, because he lost all his wealth, he need, his uh, treasure was empty. So, he, he put uh, taxes, and also, 
uh, Antiochus III, uh, <coughs> he, he started to um, take uh, uh, the gold from all the temples, especially the Babylonian temples. And so when he was uh, taking out uh, the wealth from the temples, the people, they killed, killed him. So the prophecy was exactly fulfilled. So verse 18 it said, After this he shall turn his face to the coastland. So the so through her daughter, it's not what the plan is not worked for him. So he faced towards uh, Asia Minor and Greek. So he was defeated, but a ruler shall bring a bring the reproach against them at the end. So uh, what's that? That's a Roman Roman uh, Roman general and. And with the reproach removed, he shall turn back on him. So he turned back and he is doing all this thing. Verse 19. Then he shall turn his face towards the fortress of his own land. But he shall stumble and fall, not on be found. So when Antiochus III uh, was um, killed by you know, um, nobody killed these people, not in the war, not, not in any uh, disease. He was killed by the, his own people, the Babylonian, uh, when he was taking the wealth from the temple. So, after Antiochus III, uh, his elder son, Seleucus IV, he took power. Um, he also uh, raises the taxes because no money in their uh, kingdom so they put a lot of taxes verse 20 uh, there shall rise in his place one who imposes taxes on the glorious kingdom so he put all their kingdom <coughs> so then now the Seleucus 4 he turned towards Jerusalem and he raised ta tax against Israel so after once uh, and also the Seleucus 4, he ordered his generals go and, uh, go and bring all the wealth from the, uh, the Jerusalem, the temple. So when the general, when they went to Jerusalem to plunder things from the temple, so you know it's a historian they say the angel, angelic vision warned the angels they warned the army uh, the generals of the uh, the Seleucus 4 so they didn't um, proceed their plan so they came back and after few days the Seleucus uh, Seleucus was uh, killed by his brother called Antiochus 4 his, his brother his, you know, Antiochus 4, you know, verse 21, he shall come with peaceable. He, when he, you know, when, when Antiochus, uh, Seleucus 4, he raised the tax in the, in his, um, in his people. So, Antiochus, he is kind of, uh, you know, making people to understand. He is supporting the people. So, people thought, when Antiochus IV, uh, Epiphany, Epiphany, when he comes in power, he will, uh, he will give, uh, he will, he will help the people. That's why they thought he is come, he shall come in peaceably and seize the kingdom of kingdom by entry. So he killed his brother. He took power. So now the four folk, uh, more focus upon the Antiochus 4. So, you know, how the prophecy, so today we will uh, finish uh, this verse. So, the prophecy, all the prophecy, minute detail, whatever the angel, he read from the, the scripture of truth, was exactly fulfilled. Exactly fulfilled. Now, the rest of the verse, 
uh, we can uh, next week we will read about the Antiochus Perfani. How evil he is. We also uh, saw his uh, little bit in uh, Daniel chapter 8. So now God is giving more detail about Antiochus Perfani. Because he was the um, Antichrist for the Old Testament. He abominated the temple. He abominated the temple. And the rest of the uh, verse is talking about Antiochus Perfani. So we will look next week. So today, you know, when when we go in our life, when we are go, when we have some trouble, we always come to God, or God, because He hold our future. He hold our future. He hold our family future. He hold the nation. He hold the nation. He know on what time which president to come in the power who will come well, probably he may be evil but God allow people to come power so as a children of God we should pray to God to the God of heaven to make the kings to rule to help the people on the land so we will we should always pray for our leader of the land to live a peaceful life so let's pray our loving heavenly father